The idea with volume, uh, where cross sections perpendicular to a fixed base, deals with our graphs being the floor of our building, if you will. All right. So in this case, we're just dealing with a circle. It's actually two graphs. The graph of uh, y equals the square root of r squared minus x squared, and then the opposite of the square root of r squared minus x squared. So in essence, what we're going to do is we're going to divide this up into uh, a whole bunch of uh, sections again. So our, our rectangles, if you will. So let me show those chords. So there they are right there. And in essence, we're looking at the distance between the two um, endpoints. All right, we want the distance of, of this line segment right here. Okay, and the idea behind that is that, well, if we take the positive root, um, that will get us this far. And then if we subtract the negative root, well, subtracting a negative makes us another positive, and that gets us the rest of the way. So we're looking for the length of this line segment right there, because that's going to be the base of our solid. All right. So this helps if we kind of make this a little more three-dimensional. So I'm going to turn the axis a little bit. So now we can see we have shapes that are going to be growing out of this. All right. And in this particular case, we're dealing with squares. All right. So let's get four squares onto the screen. And you can see them right there. And when the two curves are close to each other, the base of the square is actually not all that long. And we know that a square, all four sides are the same length. So therefore, the height of the square will be uh, the exact same distance as the length of the square. And therefore, the height of the square is not all that large as well. But if the distance between, uh, say we're going on to the y-axis here, if the distance between the two is quite uh, a, a large length, well, then that same distance has to be vertical. So therefore, we get a much larger square. All right, so to see all the squares, um, that we're looking for here. You can see that they're growing as the two points get further and further away, all right? And then they're going to max out right there. And now you can see the squares get smaller and smaller and smaller until they get very close to each other and boom, they're gone, all right? So let's actually create the solid now, all right? And you can see what's happening here, all right? They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And if we were to pause it right here, you can actually see that we have almost like a, uh, a stage, if you will, all right? Um, and, and this is why it's connected to the hat shell in the notes, all right? This happens to be just a, a square opening for our stage, but you have the area to perform back there, and then you have the back of the stage, but it's just a whole bunch of squares, one right after the other, all right? Actually, I'm gonna pause that one. Actually, so if we do the entire solid, that's what we end up having. And we can actually find the volume of this solid using calculus, all right? And you'll see the square, kind of work its way through that solid. All right, so this is the idea. We have a whole bunch of squares coming up from the from our base, and it could be a square or it could be a different um, actual shape. So if I just click over, you can see that we could be dealing with um, uh, uh, equilateral triangles, all right? And um, if we have equilateral triangles, now we have that situation. So when we see the solid, now we're looking at at this type of um, uh, of three-dimensional object that we're trying to find the volume of. And we could also have isosceles right triangles, all right? So again, there's our chords, so y-axis. Here's four of the triangles, all right? So we know that, again, base times height uh, divided by two, that's our area, but the height is the same length as the base. So when we show the solid, there it is. And again, you can kind of see it coming at you from two different angles, all right? So it almost looks like the uh, the heel pad that you would put into a, a sneaker if, you're, if your heel is hurting you. Um, we can also have semicircles. Uh, where's that one? Semicircles right here. Okay, so here's our, our segments, and we're going to drop the y-axis, and here's five semicircles. There's the entire solid. Um, we almost have like a megaphone, half of a megaphone happening um, in this situation. So we're, we're looking at all these different solids. We're trying to find the volume of them and uh, the definite integral is going to do that for us.